All right, students, so let's give you uh, a demonstration on working with oil pastels to make your jack-o'-lantern drawing. Here's a, a finished one that I've been using as an example with students. So let's get a blank one going here. All right, first, I wanted to work on black paper just to get it uh, kind of a nice, really darker look to it for Halloween. Um, but if you put yellow right on black paper, not that bright, kind of uh, looks a little dull there. So I'm gonna suggest working with the face first and actually laying things down in white. So, uh, or your design first. So let's see, I'm gonna work with, uh, I don't know, maybe like a round eye here. I'm gonna use white first. Let me fill this in with white. All right, um, now I'm gonna put that yellow on top of it and man, it really pops. It's so much brighter when it has the yellow on top of the white there. With that white behind it, that really makes that yellow pop out. Um, oil pastels blend, so it's gonna get a little messy in your hands here. Um, I'm gonna rub over this and blend those two colors together, together there. Um, now let me show you working with the orange. So the orange, so imagine I could get the whole face down. I'll do a time-lapse video with the rest of it. Um, my orange, I'm gonna lay them in the paper. I wanna try to draw in the direction of the object. This pumpkin is round. I wanna kind of draw in that kind of rounder shape there, really curving it as I go. Now if you think too, jack-o'-lanterns have, or pumpkins have ridges. You know, these like little lines uh, that go through the uh, through the pumpkin there. So I'm gonna wanna use some black for that. Uh, one, I can use the black to outline a little bit. But two, I wanna, I can add my ridges in that way where I can draw the curve of the ridge there. Now I'm gonna wanna blend that in as well. So I can just kinda lightly touch that with my finger to blend that black. And then I'm gonna push a little harder to really smear that orange and blend that with my finger. I think it ends up giving it a really nice effect, looks a bit more realistic, and takes it up a notch, you know? Like if you're drawing this in crayon, that's one thing. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Um, you really get a nice uh, difference when you're working um, with oil pastel. It can look so much cooler. Let's blend that in a little bit as you go there. Um, I'm gonna say don't worry about the background for this one. If we're doing this class and we had more time, we can go more backgrounds. Um, but let's just focus on the jack-o'-lantern itself. All right, let's do a time lapse of this.